All right, what we have here is a pump and motor off of a Case IH International Combine. Um, it's a 54 Series 1 pump with a 54 Series 1 motor. It fits a 1460, 1480, 1660, and 1680. Uh, if you look in here, we can pull charge pressure off the pump right here. If you need to check yours, it's right around the corner from the uh, controller. It's not the flat face plug, it's going to be a hex plug that takes a 916 wrench. And if you need to check drive pressure, that is on the motor block. This one here, we'll check this relief on this side, it's always opposite of the relief. And then the same thing for the other relief, it's down below here. So you'll check drive pressure here for this side. And then for charge pressure in stroke, you'll be pulling that off the motor block right here. It's the only plug on that side. It'll be the same thing. It's a hex plug. It takes a 916 wrench. So I got this thing warmed up already. We're gonna check pressures on it. We should have 250 pounds of charge pressure in neutral. And then when I stroke it, it's gonna be, it's gonna switch gauges and it's gonna go to this motor gauge, which should be about 40 pounds less from the pump charge pressure. And what that does this creates oil flow between the two housings and cools both units and returns the oil back to tank. So you want approximately 40 pound differential from neutral to in stroke pressure. And on the drive pressure we should have in the neighborhood of 5800 pounds. Which on our test stand we have a foot and inch valve shimmed up so it will not relief. We're just going to make sure it's going to build 5,800 pounds, which I'm going to probably pull up to 6,000. So I'm going to start it up and see what we got. See, we I pulled it up to uh, 6,000 pounds or so, and it held good. I've checked the other side already, and it was the same way. So, if you have any issues, you need to check your unit out. We have test kits, and give us a call at Hers Machine. Thank you.